Look at my cat. Do look at her. Elsa! Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and I am on the My WW Blue Plan. And today I'm gonna to be doing a what I eat in a day video. Um, I get 23 points per day. Um, but, before, but before I get into all of that, I thought I'd have a little weigh-in chat with you. Um, I'm trying to remember what all I said in my last weigh-in chat. I know I've been struggling for a couple weeks with um, overeating and just kind of being feeling out of control. And I think I mentioned that I had stopped taking my Plexus Slim, which I started drinking again, and it has helped me not feel that out of control type of eating, um, like binge eating where I just want to eat everything and I don't even feel hungry. And I don't know. It was just, I don't know. It was crazy. Now, I wasn't perfect this past week. I had a blizzard from Dairy Queen the one night. I had um, some birthday cake. My girl made cheesecake one night. Um, and... Thursday, no, Thursday, no, it was Friday. I kind of went a little bit overboard, but I stopped myself. Um, but it wasn't that feeling of like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was just like out of control eating. I haven't felt that since I started drinking this again, um, which I'm very, very thankful for because I don't like feeling like that. But I did lose a pound this week. Last time I told you that I hadn't been weighing myself for a couple weeks and I had, when I did finally get on the scale, I gained 1.4 pounds, I think is what I said. Um, and then so when I weighed in the following week, I lost exactly 1.4 pounds. So I was almost right where I was after those couple weeks of being crazy, which I felt really good about. So then when I got on the scale yesterday, meaning Saturday, today's Sunday, I'm filming on a Sunday, but you're gonna see this on Wednesday. But when I got on the scale on my weigh-in day, which is Saturdays, I had lost another pound, which I was super nervous that I wasn't going to because like I said, Friday, for whatever reason during nap time, while the kids were sleeping, I was like, I'm just, I just want to eat. But it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't like that out of control type thing because I was able to like stop it. And I did count up my points and I did track everything in my app, which is very helpful, um, which is something I struggle with. Like I didn't track the blizzard on Tuesday that I ate. I wasn't sure how to track my grandma's cheesecake. I just need to get better about just putting it in the app no matter what it is. Um, so where was I? I lost the pound. And I think also what's been helping is I've been going to the gym. I went to the gym um, three days this past week. So my points start over on Saturdays. I weigh in on Saturdays and I start over my like gym week on Saturdays. So I went to the gym Saturday and then I wasn't able to go again until Thursday. So I went Thursday and Friday. So I did make it to the gym three days this past week and I think that really made a huge difference in my weight loss so as of right now I'm down 23.8 pounds so I only need 1.2 more pounds until I hit 25 and I get another charm and I'm super excited um yeah if you guys don't um know about the my ww um charm so every time you hit a goal I think the first one's five then ten and then you don't get another one until 25 I believe there's a 50 pound one and I'm not 100% sure what's after the 50 pound one um, but you get these little like rectangle shaped charms they're all a different color and they might give you a keychain with your first one and they're just super cute and they're just like little rewards for meeting your goals whenever I do hit 25 pounds down I will show you guys the charms in that video um, so yeah that is how I've been doing um, with my weight I am very happy with how I've been doing. I Part of me wishes I could have done a little better, but not only am I worried about losing weight, I'm worrying about fixing up here. And you know what, sometimes um, the number on the scale just has to take a pause or go slower to fix your brain. You know, some, it's, it's not, it's a mental game too. I think it's way more mental than it is physical, figuring out why I was overeating or I don't know, just I feel like it's way more mental and if my brain needed some fixing for the last couple weeks, I'll take it, it's fine. Um, so I also have a weight loss goal I'm trying to meet. It's just a little one, but I'm going to the beach the first week of August and that is in five weeks. And my goal is to be 30 pounds down, not 30 more pounds, but a total of 30 pounds down. Right now I'm at 23.8, I'd love to be at 30 pounds down by the time I go to the beach and that'll be about a 1.2 pound weight loss per week 
which I really, really feel like is doable. If I get in at least three workout days, if I stay within my points, I really, really think I can do that. Now I'm setting this goal for myself. If I don't hit it, that's okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up and like be bummed out the whole week at the beach. Like it's, it's fine if I don't. So that's kind of a new mindset I have. Like I'm setting goals for myself, but it's not something that I'm gonna get disappointed in myself if I don't reach. I'm gonna try my best, um, but forgive myself if it doesn't happen. So yeah, that basically is everything I think I wanted to catch you guys up on. Um, so I will definitely get on here. I'm gonna try to do a weekly weigh-in chat um, so I can keep myself accountable and let you guys know my progress and see if I make it to the 30 pounds down by the time I get to the beach. I hope I can. I think if I keep um, making these videos every week, it'll definitely help keep me accountable. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys come along the ride with me because it's gonna be fun. And I do plan on vlogging at the beach and doing some videos at the beach. So I hope that's stuff you guys wanna see because I think it'll be fun. I'm going with my mom and my brother. Um, possibly my stepdad, I don't know if he's coming or not. But we're going, we're going to Virginia Beach and I'm super excited. Um, I haven't been there in about four years. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go downstairs and make breakfast because I'm hungry, so let's go. All right, this is what I'm having for breakfast. Um, I'm having some apple cinnamon Cheerios. You can have three-fourths of a cup for four points. And then um, I'm having some almond milk. And I'm actually, I actually um, scanned it because I know you can have up to a cup for a point. You maybe can have more, I don't know, but I always just usually do a cup. But I was like, I wonder how much you could have for zero. And you can actually have... Um, half a cup for zero and so I just tried it out to see if it was enough and I feel like that's plenty of milk so this is actually is only a four point breakfast the almond milk ended up being zero and the cheers are four it's a four point breakfast and you know what I'm gonna add in a banana too just for some extra so that's what I'm having apple cinnamon cheers and a banana I had to take my jacket off I was getting really hot but I am gonna eat this then I'm headed to church Bible study and then I have a couple errands to run and then I'll be back um, for lunch. Hey, I'm back for lunch. Let me show you what I'm having. So I made um, just a turkey and cheese sandwich. This is the Nature's Own whole wheat bread. I know in my grocery haul I bought a bunch of butter bread but I still have some of the whole wheat bread left and I wanna use that up first. So it is Nature's Own whole wheat bread, two slices for three points. And then I have this natural choice oven roasted turkey. I have three slices for one point. And then I have one slice of Velveeta cheese for one point. So this is a five point sandwich. And I have it on here cause I'm gonna add these um, Clancy's pretzel slims and you can have 28 grams for three points. So let's, um, I'm gonna set you up here so you can watch me add them with my food scale. that's a good amount for three points and then I also have two Hershey Kisses for two points so in total this is a 10 point lunch and I'll be back if I have a snack or I'll be back at dinner see you later okay I wanted to also say that I'm gonna actually have an apple as well with my sandwich and pretzels um but it doesn't change the point value it's still a 10 point lunch because apples are free um now I will see you Probably at dinner. I don't think I'll eat anything because it's like almost 2.30. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at dinner time. I don't know what I'm having yet. I haven't decided, but bye. I keep rambling. Okay, wait. I just realized I don't have my glasses on. I can't even really see. I was laying on the couch. Um, I can see. I can see myself though. So whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on here because it's only like 4. It's 4.18. Um, I normally don't eat dinner this early, but I... I'm gonna eat dinner now because all I wanna do is eat Doritos. Like, get the bag and just eat them all. Um, and I feel like I could just, I have them um, marked in, or I have them logged into my app already to have as a snack, but I feel like if I eat a small bowl right now, all I'm gonna do is just like ignore the bowl and just eat all the chips that I want instead of the I forget how many grams I have measured out. 
Well, I have planned to eat. Um, and so I'm just gonna eat my dinner instead. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat my dinner. It's a very high protein dinner. Um, and then I'm gonna see how I feel after that. I'm really trying hard not to just devour the chips and eat what I had pre-planned. I think you can have like 25 grams for three points. It's something, it's so many grams for three points, I forget. But whenever I do eat them, I'll show you. But I'm just trying to like keep myself accountable and not just go ham on those chips because that's all I wanna do. So I'm gonna fill myself up with some protein. So I'm eating dinner early. And so I don't know why I felt like I need to tell you that, but I just wanna do. So I'll show you what I'm having once it's all cooked. Okay friends, here's what's for dinner. Look what's back in stock. Blackened chicken breast strips. Finally, it's been forever. I know I said this in my grocery haul, but I'm so excited. So yes, I'm having, um, some of these blackened chicken strips. I think I threw four in there, but there's zero points. And then I'm having half a cup of this low fat cottage cheese for two points. And then I decided I kind of just really want something else to drink. So I'm having some of this G zero. It's just half the bottle. Um, I just poured it in this little cup um, and it, but that's zero points. So that doesn't count as anything. So in total, this is just a two point dinner. Um, hopefully all this protein will help kind of take my cravings away for the Doritos. Like I said, I am going to have a little bit later, but I just don't want to go crazy and eat the whole bag. So yeah, I'm going to go enjoy this dinner and I will see you guys later. All right guys, dinner definitely helped. It kept me full and it took away my cravings, but now it is time for some Doritos and I feel like totally fine just eating a bowl. I definitely don't want to eat a ton anymore. Um, so this is 26 grams of just regular nacho Doritos for four points. And then I'm also gonna have an enlightened chocolate peanut butter ice cream bar for three points. So that is a seven point snack and that'll bring me right to 23 points for the day. Hey friends, so I'm back just to make a little outro. I wanted to wait to make this until um, like I was ready to go to bed because just in case I decided to eat more, I wanted to hold myself accountable and if I did eat something, I was gonna film it. Um, but I didn't, um, apparently eating dinner earlier helped. And sorry if it's really loud, My air, I have an air conditioning unit in my room and if it's really loud, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to talk a little bit louder. Um, but yeah, that definitely helped, but yeah, I'm upstairs. It's not, I'm not really gonna go to sleep yet, but I'm upstairs, I've already brushed my teeth. I'm in bed, I'm not gonna go downstairs and eat anymore. So um, yeah, the trick eating dinner early really helped curb my Dorito trait. Ugh really helped to curb my Dorito craving. And then I did allow myself to have a normal serving size of them. So that was good, it all worked out. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed everything you watched today. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment if you want. I'm terrible at outros, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Um, Saturday, I have a recipe I'm gonna be doing and then next Wednesday will be another way in chat what I eat in a day so help keep me on track for this my vacation goal because I really want to try to get to be 30 pounds down by the vacation I'm so close to 25 pounds down and I'll almost be 30 pounds down um I'm excited so I'm making a video every week until I go on vacation about my way in chat to help keep myself accountable um and come find me on Instagram too Abby C Adventures, did I say that? I don't know. I am just rambling, but thanks so much for watching. Here comes my cat. Hi, Elsa. Uh, I'm going to go now, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.